Hey guys, this is Dan here. This is episode 28 of our Unity Make an RPG series, and today I'm going to continue to go over our stat allocation module and uh, how we increase stats. We left off last time where we had, I'm in the same Unity program, just so you know. We left off last time where we had uh, our toggle buttons for each stat that we had so that we can see what the stat does. We have the stat number listed next to it, which is the value that it uh, starts at. And we added our buttons that adjust it, but we didn't add the logic behind those buttons. So that's what we're going to do today. So go ahead and open up your uh, the script in uh, Mono Develop, and I, I did that here. I'm in our uh, stat allocation module. I already started working on it a little bit, but I'm definitely not. I haven't finished it, so I'll run through it all with you. There's a couple things that we need to do. Um, First, we're going to have to make a uh, private integer for now, and uh, this is just to show you the functionality of it uh, of this module now. But we'll get into we'll change it up a little bit uh, down the line. But anyways, you need to make a private variable, make it an integer, and make it uh, I called it available points, and this is just the amount of stat points that are available at the start. Uh, if you remembered, we included that in our base player, but we're not accessing our base player yet. Uh, the next thing we need to do is make a private bool and uh, I usually for this one I do did run once set the eagle to false and what I'm doing with this variable is in our display stat allocation module we only need a few we only need this function retrieve stat base stat points once and um, so instead of calling it hundreds of times where it resets our stats back to the base stats of this class, uh, we're going to put a little if statement. We're going to say if did run once is equal to false, that's what that exclamation point makes uh, means, then we'll run this set of code. However, once we run it, we're going to say did run once and set that equal to true. Controls to save. Uh, so now, yep. Controls to save. And now we're gonna go back. Now we're gonna go down and work on the actual button uh, logic. So the first thing we're gonna look at is uh, what I wrote up here, and uh, the if statement that is above our if statement for our button. And basically, the idea of what I'm doing here is I'm only displaying the buttons. I'm only going to display the plus and minus buttons when points are available to add or subtract so they won't be there all the time so the player just can't constantly click them so what I did is I created an if statement above our if button this is for our plus button the first thing I'm checking for is to see if the points to allocate is greater than or equal to the base stat points um, available so let's say if stamina is greater than or equal to the stamina that we started with then we can add but we can only add if our available points is greater than zero which at the start it's going to be five this available points is greater than zero will also come from our uh, base player how many stat points that is saved on that error so come from our game information script once we access it properly. Um, that's will be that's where our stat available points will actually come from, not just a variable within our stat allocation module. So, a few things we need to do now. Uh, so now that we have our if the logic for our button, say uh, what happens when you press the plus button? Well, we know our points to allocate of i which is the one that we're on is going to add one we're also going to have to subtract one from our available points so again what we're doing here is we're adding whatever button they press whatever plus button they press it's connected to the i stat so like if this is stamina it'll add one to stamina and it's going to take away from our available points go to controls to save going to go into unity i'm going to go ahead and press play and as you see 
I've clicked once, twice, three, four, five, and they go away. So it's a lot not allowing me to press to click anymore. So you know I'm done. But I can subtract. They don't work yet, but that's what's gonna allow us to subtract that. And as you can see, it went up from I think it was uh, 12 now to 17. So go back into mod develop, and we're gonna do the logic for our uh, minus button. So we're gonna go if we're gonna go points to allocate i is greater than our base stat points of i. So if this is true, then we're going to display our minus button. So I'm going to go ahead and control to save. And uh, what we need to do is go points to allocate of i minus equals, not plus equals, minus equals 1. And then we'll go plus plus available points two ones up here don't need that control s go into unity and we'll see if our logic works so as you see right away we have five points available to us for any of these stat to allocate anywhere we want our minus button isn't there so that means we can't go lower than what we st base started with now if you don't want that in your game then take away that logic but I thought I wanted everyone to have a base stat where they cannot move from and um, I, yeah I don't want them to move from that base amount and so that's why I added the logic but it's pretty simple so now you can go in and add wherever you want so as you see I've added one here, a couple a couple on these first four, and it only allowed me it's only allowing me to add or subtract from these amount from where I did it from. Uh and then basically that's how I wanted to set that up. Um I think it adds uh it allows the player to um not really screw up or get too low or change the sets way too much so that they're screwed later on in the game. Uh or you know, maybe you want your players to screw up that much, or you want your players to um, experiment a lot with the stats. Then you definitely probably don't want to set your uh, stat, the the logic up like that. Uh, but it's really simple logic anyway, so you can definitely change it up. So, um, so just to recap what we did today, we uh, in our in our display stat allocation module, we added a uh, bullet boolean that'll allowed us to run the uh, this piece of code once instead of multiple times because this is being called constantly uh, we added the logic for our plus and minus buttons that allow us to add and subtract our, our available stat points um, so in the next uh, few videos I'm going to be finishing up this module and uh, creating the character and then instantiating in the world and creating a window in the world that shows all the stats so that you know that we actually instantiate the character that's we have something um, in the game world, and then from there we'll move on to uh, we'll move on to something else. Uh, maybe like a ex I don't know exploration. Uh, I can go into some terrain stuff a bit. Uh, just change it up, get away from some of the code aspects. Maybe I'll probably be I'll probably be good. But anyways, I uh, hope you like the video. Uh, like, subscribe my videos. The support is great. Please comment, and I'll talk to you next time.